Hello, this is Dr. David A. Gatros, Department of Computer Science at Florida State University, and I'd like to welcome you to my undergraduate lecture series on selected topics in computer science. You can find these videos and others at my YouTube channel at the URL listed below, or you can simply go to YouTube and search using Gatros and FSU as keywords. Now on to the lecture. What I want to do now is to show you some Unix commands. Um, this is the ls list file or list structures command. Uh, it uh, displays the contents of a directory or directories given to it via standard uh, input through the keyboard and directs the results to standard output. Uh, by default the list is displayed in alphabetical order without regard to whether the letters are in upper or lower case. Now before we start um, you need to make sure what version of Unix that you're running just to make sure you're compatible. That's easy enough to do. You just say uname uh, dash a and it will tell you on any version of Unix uh, what you're running. I'm running a um, Linux version, a GNU Linux version. and You can see the uh, uh, the time up there and the, uh, uh, when it was installed and updated. Uh, there's a couple of ways to do this. You can also say uh, cat which is uh, displays a file proc version and hit enter and it, it kind of gives you the same kind of information. A couple of other commands that are handy we'll do is clear which uh, doesn't clear the screen it just kind of scrolls it up and to prove it to you I'll just kind of roll up and show you. See it's still there you can just go back and see all the commands I've done. So let's start. I'm in a directory that I use uh, for demonstration purposes. Um, I use this in a textbook that I wrote for Unix. Uh, it has uh, several files in it that have uh, different characteristics. So I did an ls, just no options. It just shows you the files. And they're in, again, they're in alphabetical order without regards to upper or lower case or the special characters. You'll see the pound signs in front of them. So it just kind of displays them in that. Now, if I want to display all the files, you notice no hidden files there. If I want to display them all, I say ls-a. And that displays all the hidden files. Uh, including the specialized files, the period and the double period. The uh, period is a specialized file that indicates our current directory. The double period indicates the parent directory of which is right above us. Okay. Now if I want to display all the files but I want to leave those two off, the specialized files, the period and double period, I use an uppercase A. Okay. And they're, they're actually gone right there. And there are several variations of either one of these. For instance, uh, I can say ls dash, uh, dash all is the same as the lowercase l, and I can use uh, ls dash, um, uh, dash almost uh, all, <laughs> and and that's the same as the uppercase a. It's a little newer version of that particular option. Well, let's continue on. There's a there's a lot of options we can have, and if you do a man page, and let's just do that, let's do a clear and say man ls. You'll see it displayed in front of you. It's displayed with the more command, so it presents it to you a page at a time. So I can hit the space bar and uh, kind of go through all of the options, and you can see there's a bunch of them. Uh, uh, and these might vary depending upon the version of Unix that you're you're working at. There's dash b for ignore backups. Uh, there's a dash uh, color, there's dash d directory, uh, dash h for human readable, um, see, uh, dash uh, l for long listing, we'll show that, and dash r for reverse and recursive. Um, there's dash s for size, you can uh, sort by word, uh, time, um, tab sizes, you can put in specific tab sizes. So there's lots and lots of options here. Well, let's just show you a few of them, okay? And um, I'll explain them. So I'm going to hit Q for quit for the help. Then I'm going to clear, and I'm going to do um, uh, a few commands here and just kind of show you some of the options, okay? Well, this command uh, details the uh, uh, lists the details of the files. It ignores backup and sort by time with the newest first. And that option is okay. Uh, ls dash uh, LBTC. I'm also going to put in there the uh, author and that prints out the author and I'm only going to display the text files. Okay so let's show you what this looks like and there it is and uh, you see that 
Um, I didn't have any backup uh, files in here. I do sort by time. You'll see over on the right hand side that the, it is sorted by time. And you'll also notice too that the author, myself, Gatros uh, D, David Gatros, appear twice. If I just did the ls-l, okay, which is the long listing, you'll see that the uh, uh, I only appear once. If I add the author to it, author, you'll see that I, I actually appear twice. Well, let me show you another one. Again, these are these are interesting little features of it, and, and I encourage you to try all of them. Um, uh, color uh, equal always. This is one of the features that may or may not work on a lot of versions of Unix. Uh, it does in this one in particular, GNU and uh, Sun Workstation it does. And you'll see that it lists the colors and uh, the colors are uh, have different meanings. The blue indicates that it's a uh, directory and the uh, green are regular files. The uh, ones that uh, are uh, uh, green have been accessed recently, the others have not. Uh, <coughs> let me clear this and again try these. Give, give these a try uh, as you're watching this video. Uh, here's another one that's very handy. I like to use this one. Dash D is give me the directories. Which one are directories? Only show me the directory files. This one's a little tricky. Uh, I have to do asterisk slash in this one to um, limit it to my current directory and my current directory only. Otherwise it's going to uh, do a recursive in, uh, of all the directions and I'll show you what it does if I don't do this. So in this one I have uh, athletics, temp directory 1, temp directory 2, temp directory 4, and temp directory 5. And again, let me go ahead and I did a back up, uh, up arrow key and I'm going to say color equal always just to kind of show you the color. You can combine these options together. Now let me show you what ls-d does just by itself. Okay. It just says there's the that's my current directory, the period. Okay. Ls D and I'll put an asterisk and you'll notice that it gave me all the files. Um, so I actually have to specify the slash which indicates a directory. Give me all the directories. Uh, and um, just to convince you that it uh, the other way you'll see if I do a, a slash D, uh, just an asterisk slash, it gives me uh, list all the directories, <clears throat> all the contents of all the subdirectories. So the dash D asterisk slash, very very important. Okay, now a few more options. Let me do a clear. This one is uh, command a long listing format minus the users and in human readable format. And again, go back and look at the uh, uh, man page. Long listing format minus the users and H is human readable format. Okay, and there it is. Now, if I only want to limit it to um, just the, let's see, um, text files, I can just say say that. Okay. Now, this command uh, prints the size and blocks in reverse order, and recursively looks through subdirectories. So this is ls dash sr. R, reverse order and then R is recursive. So there it is, the uh, uh, looks for again um, prints the size and blocks in reverse order and recursively through subdirectories. So this is just an a, example of um, the um, uh, LS uh, and I want to show you a few more particularly on the ones that uh, have to do with sorting. Let me Let me clear here. Okay. Now when you do a, a listing on size, uh, you can do it, and I'll do ls-s is the uh, size. Um, I'll get a listing out, and it really doesn't mean much. They are sorted in size, but unless you use the uh, long listing format, L, for that, it doesn't really mean anything. You can't see it. So there we can see it, and we say, okay, it is, it is listed by size. That's, that's very important. There. Okay. Um, a couple of other options I want to show you that come in handy. 
Uh, ls dash one puts them one per column, kind of lines them up like that. Okay. Um, you can actually uh, uh, change the width of the screen, but uh, um, what I like to do is to uh, I can use column widths also. Let me clear the screen. There's an option that is called width, so it looks like this, width to width equal, and on the man page it has COLS for columns. It doesn't mean the number of columns, it means the number of characters wide, so if I put something like, uh, I want 45 characters wide, it will assume that's the actual width of the screen itself and try to put them in there. If I use something like uh, 75, it's going to make them a little bit, bit larger like that. So. Um, uh, kind of handy. Um, there are uh, again lots and lots of options uh, for ls command. I encourage you to uh, uh, look the man pages over and go through uh, go through the book and, and look at them. Um, one other feature, last feature I want to show you before we uh, uh, quit the video is um, let's say that you want to produce a file of the contents of the the directory, which is very handy to do, especially if you're trying to read them in from a program. Uh, that's using the redirection operator, which we cover in another chapter. And that's ls, and I usually do dash one. Okay, let me just show you the results of that again. It's going to produce them one per column. But now if I want to put them to a file, okay, what I do is I say redirectory dir.out. And now instead of coming to the screen, it's going to go to that file. And uh, I can do a more dir.out and show you, uh, there they went, right there. All right. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Looking forward to uh, doing another one. Uh, on to the next command, and uh, good luck.